Have you ever wondered if a country could power its future using the fire beneath its soil? Beneath the Philippines lies a geothermal gold mine, vast, hot, and mostly untapped. While much of the world looks skyward to harness solar rays or awaits the wind, the Philippines is tapping deep into Earth's own energy, fueling millions of homes with clean, consistent power. Geothermal energy isn't just another buzzword in this island nation, it's a game changer. Unlike solar or wind, geothermal runs 24-7, rain or shine. And what's even more mind-blowing? The Philippines ranks third in the world for geothermal energy production, right after the United States and Indonesia. That's no small feat for a nation of 7,000-plus islands. The reason lies in geography. Sitting on the Pacific Ring of Fire, the Philippines is a hotbed, literally, for underground steam and heat sources. While earthquakes and volcanic activity pose risks, they also provide a key advantage. Direct access to one of Earth's most stable and abundant energy sources. The same tectonic chaos that shakes the islands is now powering them forward. This advantage has allowed the country to weave geothermal energy into its national strategy. Currently, about 15% of the country's electricity comes from geothermal sources. That's the highest share among Southeast Asian nations and positions the Philippines as a pioneer in sustainable development. Beyond figures, this represents energy security. Unlike imported coal or oil, geothermal is homegrown. That means fewer economic vulnerabilities and more independence. For an archipelago spread across oceans, that kind of stability is priceless. Filipino scientists, engineers, and policymakers have worked quietly for decades to harness this power, often without global recognition. But make no mistake, the Philippines has built one of the most resilient, climate-smart power systems on the planet, and the world is starting to take notice. The Philippines' geothermal revolution didn't happen overnight. It was forged deep underground. Across Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, state-of-the-art geothermal plants convert underground steam into electricity that powers entire cities. And they do it quietly, efficiently, and with almost zero emissions. Take the Leyte Geothermal Production Field, for example. It's one of the largest of its kind in the world, producing over 700 megawatts, enough to continuously power half a million homes. And that's just one site. The Makaling Banaha area near Manila produces another 458 megawatts, feeding clean energy directly into the heart of the capital region. What makes these projects truly astounding isn't just their size, it's their consistency. Geothermal plants operate with a reliability rate of over 90%, far higher than solar or wind farms. That means fewer blackouts, fewer backup generators, and fewer power price surges during high demand. Even better? These plants are marvels of engineering. Using drilling rigs, turbine systems, and advanced cooling techniques, they operate silently compared to the roar of fossil fuel plants. And with lifespans often exceeding 50 years, they're some of the most cost-effective energy investments a country can make. Each geothermal complex is also a hub of innovation. Engineers continuously refine their systems to maximize efficiency and reduce environmental footprint. Unlike older technologies, modern geothermal setups use closed-loop systems that re-inject used fluids back underground, preserving reservoirs for future generations. In a world racing to replace carbon-heavy infrastructure, the Philippines is already ahead. Its volcanoes have become power stations, its steam has become strength, and its future is being quietly, but powerfully, rewritten. While the world scrambles for stable energy, the Philippines is already plugged into one of the most reliable power sources on Earth, geothermal energy. Once seen as niche, geothermal is now the backbone of our energy reliability, saving billions in the process. Unlike wind or solar, geothermal plants operate 24-7, providing priceless reliability during storms and cloudy days. For a nation facing dozens of storms yearly, this resilience is life-changing. The cost benefits are impressive, avoiding expensive battery storage and backup generators, leading to lower electricity prices. International investors are taking notice, with the Asian Development Bank investing over $37 million in our geothermal operations. This is a strong vote of confidence in our technology and our ability to lead in clean power. These aren't just short-term gains. Geothermal plants run efficiently for decades, offering returns that wind and solar can rarely match. 
For a developing nation, this means economic stability, job creation, and a stronger global position. The Philippines isn't just powering homes, we're powering our potential. You might think geothermal energy is limited to certain regions, but in the Philippines, it's a nationwide movement. From Luzon to Mindanao, geothermal plants dot the map, creating a decentralized, resilient energy web that fuels entire provinces. The Philippines currently operates six major geothermal power plants across the islands. Each one plays a strategic role in balancing the grid and delivering power even to remote communities. This isn't just about clean energy, it's about energy equity. In Albay, the Tiwi geothermal plant powers thousands of homes near Mayan Volcano. In Southern Negros, the Palinpinon plant provides energy for agricultural and residential use alike. And in Mindanao, the Mount Apo facility lights up Davao's industries. This distribution ensures every region benefits from the geothermal boom. This decentralized setup also provides critical redundancy. If one part of the grid goes down due to a natural disaster or technical issue, others step in to keep the country running. That's energy security in action, Filipino style. Geothermal integration is helping reshape the energy landscape beyond just power. Roads, water systems, and digital infrastructure are all being developed around these energy hubs. In some areas, entire towns have grown alongside geothermal plants, creating self-sustaining green communities. Every megawatt generated isn't just a number. It's a signal that the Philippines is transforming energy access into a tool for national development. No region is left behind in this geothermal journey. One of the Philippines' greatest geothermal assets isn't underground, it's in the classroom. Universities across the country are investing heavily in geothermal science, turning curious students into world-class engineers. This is how you future-proof an energy revolution. Geothermal engineering programs have sprung up in top institutions. Students learn everything from subsurface mapping to turbine mechanics, preparing them for high-demand roles in a booming industry. The result? a domestic talent pool that's driving the sector forward without relying on foreign labor. Industry partners are joining the effort. Companies like Energy Development Corporation EDC, are offering internships, scholarships, and research funding. The goal is simple. Nurture a new generation of geothermal innovators. This education pipeline ensures sustainable growth. As technology evolves, so too will the Filipino workforce. With geothermal capacity set to double in coming years, demand for skilled labor is soaring, and schools are answering that call. Beyond technical training, these institutions are also leading in research. From binary cycle systems to enhanced geothermal recovery, Filipino scientists are contributing to global geothermal advancements. In labs across Manila and Cebu, the next big breakthroughs in clean energy are quietly taking shape. By integrating geothermal science into education, the Philippines is securing its future. It's not just creating jobs, it's building a legacy of innovation that will echo for generations. What started as a national energy strategy has become an international export. Filipino geothermal expertise is now in demand from Indonesia to Kenya, and the reason is simple. Few countries have done it better. Philippine firms are increasingly involved in consulting, design, and operations of geothermal plants abroad. Filipino engineers have become some of the most respected names in the global geothermal community known for their hands-on experience and practical innovations. This export of talent and technology translates to more than just pride, it means new income streams, stronger diplomatic ties, and deeper regional influence. The Philippines is no longer just a user of geothermal energy, it's a teacher. As other developing nations seek to leapfrog fossil fuels, many are looking to the Philippines for guidance. International partnerships are being forged not just around power plants, but around research, training, and policy support. Global recognition also means more opportunities for funding and collaboration. From World Bank grants to green technology expos, the Philippine geothermal sector is gaining a bigger spotlight, and it's well-deserved. This global footprint underscores an essential truth. When you invest in clean energy at home, the world takes notice. The Philippines is proving that it can lead by example and export that leadership worldwide. Geothermal energy doesn't just keep the lights on, it drives the economy. 
In regions where plants operate, entire communities are being uplifted. New schools, clinics, roads, and businesses flourish in the wake of energy development. These projects create thousands of jobs across technical, operational, and support sectors. From geologists to truck drivers, geothermal energy generates real livelihoods for real people. And these aren't low-wage jobs. Many roles offer competitive pay and training, helping lift families out of poverty and into long-term financial stability. That's the kind of green energy impact the world needs more of. Government programs ensure that communities near geothermal plants receive direct benefits. Local development funds are often tied to energy revenue, ensuring that profits go back into the areas they came from. Tourism is also quietly growing around these energy hubs. Educational tours, eco-villages, and energy exhibits are drawing interest from students and travelers alike, boosting local economies in new ways. This is the future of green development, inclusive, integrated, and impactful. In the Philippines, geothermal energy isn't just a power source, it's a prosperity engine. In the age of climate urgency, geothermal energy stands as a rare win-win. It's sustainable, scalable, and, most importantly, clean. The Philippines has long recognized this, and it's now reaping the climate benefits. Operating geothermal plants emit almost no greenhouse gases. Compared to coal-fired power stations, they reduce millions of tons of carbon emissions each year. That's a major step toward meeting the Philippines' international climate commitments. This clean energy leadership puts the country in a favorable position globally. As climate funding and green tech investments rise, nations with strong environmental records will lead the pack, and the Philippines is among them. Local air quality has also improved thanks to geothermal adoption. In areas once reliant on diesel generators, clean steam now powers homes and businesses with zero air pollutants. Natural ecosystems are being preserved as well. Unlike hydroelectric dams that flood valleys or solar farms that clear forests, geothermal plants occupy minimal land and protect biodiversity. This environmental success story proves a powerful point. It's possible to grow an economy and protect the planet at the same time. And the Philippines is living proof. Despite being a regional leader, the Philippines has only scratched the surface of its geothermal potential. Experts say we could double our capacity, powering millions more homes with Earth's internal heat. This isn't just a dream, it's a plan in motion. New exploration projects are heating up from Bicol to Mindoro. Government policies are supporting this expansion with incentives for developers. The Department of Energy has launched a roadmap prioritizing renewable growth, with geothermal at its center. If we meet our targets by 2030, geothermal could supply most of our baseload electricity. Fewer blackouts, lower carbon emissions, and greater resilience await us. The groundwork is laid, technology is proven, and talent is ready. All that's left is to turn up the heat. The Philippines' geothermal journey is a model for the world. As countries face energy transitions, many look to Filipino solutions and strength. From island communities to megacities, we show that clean energy is possible. No other ASEAN country has matched this scale and few outside the region have either. Filipino geothermal experts are now keynote speakers at international conferences. Philippine companies are expanding globally, influencing energy policies worldwide. The next chapter? Leading the global conversation. The Philippines can shape international standards and drive innovations in clean energy. This leadership is earned through smart investments and community engagement. In a world seeking sustainable solutions, the Philippines is a powerful example. Geothermal energy here is a national asset and a global inspiration. As we move toward a clean energy future, the Philippines is lighting the way. If this story inspired you or even made you think, don't forget to like this video, share your thoughts in the comments, and subscribe for more powerful insights like this. Your voice matters. Let's keep this conversation going and let's grow together.